What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abyss, Inkiborg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the orders reach no no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abyss sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city. Rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless chicks have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone beaten and bloodied. The howling mother take them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And here if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. Trade Depot. This must be where the merchants' wares are being kept. <laughs> the depot is well guarded by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these docks. What are you doing? You're supposed to be in the market. I know, I... I forgot which merchants to collect. I cannot believe this. Black cloth on their stores. Gods, never you mind. Someone else will take care of it. You are playing with fire, boy. The needle is known to sting for far less than this. Seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths and may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Okay, 
market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure. But the needle is calling for more protection. Key. Where to? Those guards will return after dark. I might be able to follow them to the needle. We will go one by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they were. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver path through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business. With Grigori. I don't know your face. And I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend the large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the East Gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. Have you any wine for sale? There's nary a drop in town. Sorry. All the wine's been bought up for the old type beast. Shame. I could do with a cup. Hi, friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm making to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around, you'll find someone who'll be- My thanks. Cards and a black cloth marking the house. Hiding among the rats, needle. Fitting. Place is heavily guarded. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? All this silverware. Some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? No! Please! Don't do this! I promise! I promise you your silver next week! <laughs> For the kill! You're mine! I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread the needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. 
think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done. Come, come, walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, I, I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, shh, shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. I run this operation. I do the thinking, you do as you're told. Funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for, me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, Someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. 
Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. What news do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle. Sold off the wares he seized to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The council seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast, but I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal and a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rizie, Falavith, Odin, and... You're the four members of the council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. That is where the council and confer. A wax seal. Similar to the one I found in the sewers. A seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. A list. What Jorvik needs for the Yuletide feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. I have seen these. Weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Halfdan's army. Could be why Faravith is pressing the council for more silver. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's... Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. There was wine here. 
Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? Looks that way. It is not him, not Mayor. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hyor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even Hjor? Even Hjor. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now to speak to the council members. Faravid, a word if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I'm selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ah, if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. I will speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Odun, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin. And these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. What a delightful feast! Alden has outdone it. Hjor, who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. Have the silver ready in the car. Rishie. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. Alden has outdone himself. He has indeed. The high reed of your victim has a bright. He has indeed. The high reed of your victim has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. Now let me start again. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you all. Of course. Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Audun was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Ingibor collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. 
Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on the day we honor you, we honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. I'll do as the vote. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle all them. Go. Protect the king. There is no escape. No future for people like me. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. We're fine. Farhadid and his cars escorted King Rishi back to the royal hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there.
that sniveling little shit. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Alden aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrive? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Hafton Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Bjarmia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harold all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now, and the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Hjor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind. So I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an ale. I know of a place down the street. Eivor. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik, the Lufina, and Hjor's aid. And should we ever need theirs? They will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back-alley brawls. <laughs>